Again, that is just pinpointed. We haven't seen anything over here. Nothing. Goodbye. See you, attack buster. Oh. It's, really it's intense. Yes! What is happening? Welcome to another pitcher video breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock, and yeah, it's about time we talked about Ranger Suarez. Okay, this is a ridiculous, ridiculous season. Um, and you see the stats up there, like it's just mind-boggling. This is Ranger Suarez! And he's on what I call a Vargas rule, which is a guy that we don't expect to be an ace who's just on such a good run that looks like a proper ace for a bit, but we don't quite believe it's going to be sustainable. However, I will say, I mean, same to, of course, with Jason Vargas, Suarez, the biggest thing this year we're going to see in the start is his changeup. And look at the stats up there of this game and just, you're going to see some interesting stuff, but understand that the changeup has been absurd this year. It looks like it's a new pitch. It's an improved one. And that is the secret to everything this year for Ranger Suarez. But let's watch this. A lot of this game. I don't know how far we're going to be able to go. I got like 15 minutes um, for Ranger Suarez. And the major thing is command. Where is he locating stuff? He's going in and he's going out. Right? A lot of guys you see are just going to try and go inside the zone here. That is not Suarez. He's trying to pinpoint inside, away. It's kind of like the old school neckbeard approach. Yes, the neckbeard approach. That is where you live on the edges of the zone and sometimes the top where you're not going in the middle. You're avoiding the heart of the plate and you're forcing guys to extend out. This is really the Dallas Keuchel method um, who had the best neckbeard of all. Of course, thank you, Sperry, for showing that right above. But right, he's going to be trying to hover around. Look at that. He's getting a swing on this cutter out of the zone, right? Not giving Semin, who's an incredible hitter, anything to swing at. And it's part of the reason why uh, Suarez is having this run. He's able to throw enough pitches right along the edges to then get all of his outs instead of giving in, making those mistakes, and allowing guys to beat him, right? Think of it like a playoff run where if you watch a playoff pitcher, you'll see that they are not giving in. They're so focused of not allowing a home run and throwing that mistake pitch. That's how Suarez is right now. That's trying to be a front door sinker. I love that for Suarez. He does that effectively. He's trying to go down to curveball. That's not really his best pitch. And now 3-2, what do you throw? Probably the changeup. There is a sinker, a four-seamer actually away. And that four-seamer away at 3-2 has got to set up for a changeup down away. It's got to be that. There it is. Oh, slider backdoor. Oh, that's interesting. Slider backdoor, and you see it's just not quite over there, but it gets this guy who's a real good hitter. Look at that face, like a stank face. Mm. That's, I mean, he's not, he's not happy. He's not happy. I mean, that's just right around the edge. It's such a good 3-2 pitch. You got to swing at that one. There is a sinker that is trying to get inside over here. Seeger doesn't really want that one, so I guess he's going to take it. Uh, it's it's not a, like electric. You know, you see on this channel, you've seen Mason Miller. You see how absurd that is. You watch and just go, oh my gosh. Ranger Suarez is the perfect example of a guy who just throws pitches and you just see batters just not do anything with it. You're like, man, how is this just kind of working? Look at this inside, outside. That's a four seamer staying away. It's not even coming back. You know, he's trying to actually do something where he sets it up where uh, he sets up where you might actually swing at this and then you realize it doesn't come back over the plate and you actually get this in the end of the bat and you get an out, right? It's it's fun stuff that uh, Suarez does here. But again, no mistakes so far here. Um, that's a bad one, but it's out of the zone and cool. You see another day. Let's see one, two. And there's a four seamer that honestly, he's swinging through this one because it could be a changeup. It could be a secondary pitch. He doesn't really know what this is going to be. And he stays away. Is it inside? Is it outside? He's playing the East-West game so well. There's a four-seamer. He gets the call there, but neckbeard approach allows you to do that. You just kind of nibble, nibble, nibble. There is a sinker at 90. That's got some good depth. And again, that is just pinpointed. We haven't seen anything over here. Nothing. You know, the heart of the play, it's like, I need the blood. And he's like, nah, man. You ain't going to get it. Sorry, that was that's an image. I don't like that image. Bad image. Uh, he's trying to do a front door sinker. This is actually how Suarez gets a lot of his strikeouts. It's old school Eduardo Rodriguez, believe it or not. Rodriguez would do this a lot with sinkers coming in front door. Uh, and it's interesting. As a lefty, especially, by the way, can I, can I just get this out of the way here? I hate the Philadelphia Phillies camera angle. This isn't fair. You know, you can generally make a line from like where the middle of the mound is and where the plate is. And it should line up for the most part. This mound is going over here and then this. So when Ranger Suarez releases the ball, look where it is. Th this is not straight. I don't have an angle for any of this. And what's even crazier 
this has a good amount of lateral movement. You have no idea. You see dip. It even looks like a cutter the way that it comes over. This is moving that way, not that way. Philadelphia, like, I know you got to get the ad in the place and stuff. Come on, man. I have a better camera angle. It drives me nuts. But anyway, that's supposed to be front door sinker for a strikeout. He's going to try it again. No, he's going to go with a curveball instead. We actually even, haven't even seen a changeup yet. This is the best pitch. Oh, that's a sinker. Nope. 2-2. Two, two. And here's the thing. You actually are going to see this sometimes from Ranger Suarez. He's trying to get quick outs, and you're going to see that in later in this game. He's going to get quick outs of these sinkers inside, change-ups, first pitch, all that kind of stuff. But he's also going to get to 3-2 from 0-2 because he's just not going to give in. And, oh, he doesn't get the call on the sinker away there. He nibbles. It's fine. He's okay with that. He's happier with that than giving up as something, you know, something over the plate for them to hit. There's a sinker down. And this is, again, the neckbeard approach. And you can see that this is kind of like, believe it or not, Blake Snell. What? Yeah. Blake Snell, last year, at, well, there's a stat at Pitcher List. This is the, the company I run. I've run it for 10 years. We have StatCast data, and we have a pitch quantifier, kind of like Sp uh, Stuff Plus. But what's cool about ours is that we actually grade every single pitch fully, and that allows us to do really cool things like, hey, when do you throw a pitch inside the zone that is double the chance of allowing a hit? Which is essentially saying, well, when do you throw it over here, and it also just doesn't have amazing stuff that it's actually pretty easy to hit. Blake Snell last year had by far the lowest mistake rate and he had such a high walk rate, but he had such a low hit per nine because he threw few mistakes over the plate. And it's like 50% between him and, num and number two and number two to like 77, right? Something like crazy like that. Ranger Suarez has a really low mistake rate and it's because he's not throwing in the middle of the zone, right? That's the whole thing. It's not as filthy as Snell, but I mean, he's nibbling effectively. He's really living on the edges more. Uh, it's location focus as opposed to stuff focus. There's a first change of him. By the way, I mean, look how far out. This is a 2-1 pitch. Jonah Heim, we all know this, by the way, guys. What does Jonah Heim want? He wants fastballs, okay? And he's just sitting on that for 2-1, and this thing just woo, falls away. Such good fade on that. And you can't see it because of the stupid camera angle. Uh, and there is, oh, man, that is actually the worst pitch he's thrown. 2-2, 92. But the thing is, because Heim saw that change up and that whiff over here, he's able to get away with this. Because he's just so focused on something else. Boom, correctly cuts it off. And that's the first inning. And, I mean, I don't know if I really need to do more than this. This is a curveball for a strike. Uh, you really have seen... That's free real estate, by the way. It was free real estate. He tries to pinpoint the sinker in there. This is how Ranger Suarez does this, guys. Um, it, it's just all around the edge of the zone. And it's why I don't think it's believable. If you want to say right now, look, Ranger Suarez is a command pitcher and he's going to be this good command throughout the year. Maybe he is. We've seen ridiculous command runs for 25 starts or something like that. That happens and maybe it does. We've also seen Ranger Suarez do this in um, about 12 starts in 2021 when he first arrived. Um, maybe that was even 2022 when he first became his thing. I can't actually remember. Uh, it's possible that, oh man, look at that one. That's a curveball down. Uh, and that works. I'm super happy that he got that one there. It's possible he can continue to do it, right? Oh, man, what are you looking at? That's the good one. Oh, you're not going to get a better one than that low. Um, it's possible he can continue and be in this group for a bit. But when I say it's a Vargas rule, it's a guy who's in rhythm. That's a good sinker off the plate there uh, who likely isn't going to hold on to it for the entire year, and he's going to have those games of mortality, and it's just going to not be as consistent. Uh, it's lovely right now. I love this. This is good pitching. Look at that 2-2 change up down. Like this is a guy with a plan and he's working it and it's great. Uh, like this is also the toughest thing that I think people don't grasp about advanced stats. You could have everything that says, yes, you have deserved your success. Ranger Suarez has deserved his success. I'm not saying in any way that he hasn't. The problem is that because these are humans, that's a great fastball away. The problem is you don't necessarily going to deserve it the next day right? It, it's, it's some, oh man, there's a good change of front door too. Oh, down and in. That's the good stuff. Oh, we're going to go one more inning here. Just because you deserved it and all the stats say that you deserved success in one moment does not mean, that's probably a cutter inside uh, or a slider inside, um, does not mean that you're going to deserve that success the next day, right? It's going to pitch in a way that doesn't deserve it. And wow, that is not a deserved hit into center field. That is a good curveball at 75 down and in off the zone. Um, he got the end of the bat. He got a first pitch strike there. Fine. Um, so, 0-1 coming here. 
Uh, you want the cutter inside right, which is good. You're again, you're you're make that pitch down here, then sets up the fastball inside here. Uh, sinker come back over. Yep, beautiful. Yeah, four seam works too. Uh, you can play the cutter four seamer game. Like he has five pitches here, right? Curveball, sinker, four seamer, change up, cutter. It's cl kind of close to the uh, the the Cole Reagans thing, but yeah. This is what, like, good command looks like. And you're like, but he just missed that pitch all the way inside. Yeah, he's not just... Look at that. That's upstairs two-seamer, uh, four-seamer, right? Not a good four-seamer shape. Doesn't matter. Look at that location. Right? And he just barely fouls that off and it survives. Then you throw the change up underneath that. No, another four-seamer. No, you should be change up underneath that. Come on. Right? Oh, it's a big big curveball underneath it? Uh, no. I'm surprised he's moving away from the change up because the change up has been such a good offering for him. Uh, that is the cutter he's trying to do backdoor. This is a big mistake at 3-2, honestly. And I think if it's anyone but Tavares, like that is, oh man, 3-2. This is the biggest mistake that uh, that Suarez has made. Um, got away with that. Not a good curveball there. Okay. Right? I, I guess what I'm saying, that's not a good cutter. Semyon's really upset about that one. Oh man, you got away with that one. Let's see, 1-1. One, one. This is the worst inning here from Suarez, right? This is kind of what it looks like when it falls apart. Four seamer gets away with that at two one. I think he absolutely got away with that one. If Semyon is, he didn't see a, a fastball the entire time at two one. I think he's thinking another cutter inside. Um, let's see two two here. Oh, and he gets beat on the curve. Um, that's a good piece of hitting from Semyon, because I think Semyon is is kind of looking for another fastball at this point, and maybe it's gonna be. I think actually he's probably looking for a slider or a cutter again. And that's why he's willing to swing at this one, which is a curveball that starts out of the zone. He's expecting to come back in like a slider, but he's realizing, oh, no, I'm way out in front because it's the curve. Look how well um, he goes down and get the, gets this pitch. I mean, this is really nice. Like, that is such a good piece of hitting. Really leans down, bends his knees, puts the bat on the ball somehow. And, you know, that's just that's two doinks that uh, the turn run um, against Suarez. Like, OK, fine. Really good sinker inside there to, to Corey Seager. That's how you get ahead of a batter. Uh, got away with that sinker. That's down the middle. 0-2. You got you can't throw that thing again. You throw the slider. That's that's pretty much what you do. Hey, six pitches, right? Cutter and a slider. So six of them. And he throws a sinker again, which is interesting. Not really a strikeout pitch, the sinker. Sinkers inside are more for fouling off as opposed to getting whiffs. Wow, and he got it here. I'm actually I'm absolutely shocked. He did not go around, did he? Incredible. Uh, that is a rarity, especially from Corey Singer. Uh, that is a first pitch curveball that Grossman was ready for, and he just, oh, man, he just missed that. Oh, my gosh. Change up. Oh, no, no, yeah, you got to speed him up now. No, right. No. You, you, you throw the curveball first pitch, and he does that kind of swing on it. You have to change the speed. You can't throw a change up again. Right, duh. Duh. And he sneaks that in there because of it. Uh, I'm actually a little surprised that Grossman didn't jump on that one. Um, so last, last at bat here, of course. Uh, o2 coming. Um, there's, I believe, the backdoor cutter he's trying to do. Oh, he doesn't get it. Oh, he thinks he has it. That's sneaky. I mean, that's the fun stuff from from Suarez, just a little bit off. But again, like you can see, this is a proper pitcher, and it's really fun for me to watch this. Uh, I, I mean, he got away, I think, with that sinker. But I, uh, it's fun for me to watch this because, like, look at all these wonderful pitches. Like, this it gets your out. It's, it has a lot of sync this year. Fine. I think it's a little bit not that great. But, you know, look above here. You're going to see all these wonderful pitches that Suarez has thrown in this one. Like, right around the edges, getting his strikes. Like, not giving in to batters. Really not throwing anything in the middle of the zone. That is the Suarez way. And I don't think it lasts forever. It's working right now. Hats off to him. I'm super happy for him. We didn't really see a lot more of the strikeouts actually as the game went on for the next four innings. But you understand how this all works. And I hope it sticks around. I really do. Uh, we all know how it doesn't work when uh, he throws more over the plate and doesn't get all those strikes out of the zone. But so far, so good for Ranger Suarez. I love to see it. But that is it for today. Make sure you subscribe. Check out all those videos. My name is Nick Pollock, and get out of here!